Viewers and subscribers, dancer and critics, they are done once again. If it's the first time tuning into the channel, please remember to subscribe to the channel and ring the bell icon most importantly. That way you get the instant notification each time I put out a new content. And while you're at it, please go over Instagram and follow dancer critics over there so to people. Respect our manners in advance. Today I will be talking about Tanya Stevens. Tanya Stevens reveal a bag of things. You know me, I say as far as the fact that she nah nothing against Spice. She also shared, you know, ladies uh, and talk about Shensi and all of these things. But we could get tonight, people. So, viewers, subscribers, I end up run into a live with Tanya Stevens, that though. And the first thing I can say is, at the first, I actually hear her interact and talk. You know, I say, so that way, I quickly assess the fact that, yo, she's very intellectual. Seeing she's a rebel, she's very frank, straightforward. You saw me I say and real with it. She take accountability for fear of flaws them. She they even afraid for even expose her own self. You understand me I say people? She know how to play the game safe as well. Because you see her choice of words and all of these things, which of course viewer subscribers may go show you know, um, you know me I say the piece of my little bit of clippings. Or, you know, my little footage of me captured from the live. Because I did screenshot it. You see what I said? But I did want, of course, just talk to Uno. Just make Uno hear just my personal point of view as far as how me think about Tanya Steven. Tanya Steven have my utmost respect. Be, especially from seeing her and hearing her, you know, I said, talk the way how she talk on this live here, viewers and subscribers. She talk about, you know, I said, oh, she admire Shensi as well. She talk about, oh, she did basically have people at a stiff arm distance. No really want to get into certain people because you will grudge upon somebody else or you have off somebody because of what people say. And never took the time out to really know the person. And she even uh, acknowledged the fact that, yo, all of them doing that did wrong. And I did half a, half a Lady G an apology. And she said 20 years later, viewers, subscribers. She also mentioned the fact that boy, she not nothing against Spice. And she never called Lady Sarah name, you know, as far as the part of me did I listen to. See? But she did shade her. See? And of course, you just have to read between the lines. I'm going to go ahead and, of course, show you know, the live where me captured so you know, can see all light for yourself, know, viewer subscribers. And trust me, you will have a totally different outlook. Pan, pan, you know me I say pan how things are in a the game of dance hall. And have a different level of respect for Tanya Steven. I want to know for tell me what you think if you are subscribers. Remember subscribe to the channel and keep watching. I'm going to show you a clip. Respect our manners in advance. Bertrand. And Lady G and Chrissy they are Bertrand. So we end up in the same space. You know what G used to come in the studio? Because I think she had one pussy one. Yeah. Same thing like what Spice said. So who am I to judge? Me not in one position to judge that. You understand? Me not in one position to judge that. We make mistakes. People make mistakes. And so did I. Paula Erlock, me say when I come off of the, the live, you know, me, you never hear, you hear, you hear some calling him? Me say me have to call either you or Renee, you know, because I have to talk to somebody where I go. I have to talk to somebody where I never go talk about energy and... I have to see me have a drink whiskey. That's not anything, you know, but... I yeah, fuck with my little cleanse. Well, the whiskey nice said very worth it for broker cleanse. Me and Chrissy they are bridging. We're going on Main Street. G in a Main Street. So remember me I come with that, that energy there and I head know what I feel like. G I want bad person. Remember you know, when me hear the things them about G start get personal, I avoid it to them. Because I say, you not sound like you're nice, but blood clot, you're not nice neither. So you're mega do. Take on myself. He'll come from country, put cockroach up his in the full fight. So I'm come out tight, right? Me not go near nobody, me not talk to nobody. Chrissy, I'm a friend. Me don't hear Lady G all the time. She talks, she gives you up. First of all, that woman, the sense of humor. She is a ball of energy, just pure positive energy. Just, you cannot be in her presence and don't get full of her. And I started to feel stupid. I start to feel stupid because I realize that I actually hold her off at arm's length and I look on her side eye and she never do me nothing yet. 
She don't even have a chance to do me nothing. She couldn't be good or bad. So, I was like, Anyway, I got this advice just to be on the safe side because I don't want to no mix up. I don't want me, no one a part of that kind of behavior. There. So I got to avoid everybody. And I did that. You know how uncomfortable it was for me to uh, avoid Lady G. In I, when we, in I see him space, let me tell you what, now this culminated in us both going, Joey Bodafuka had a show in a New York in a one club. And me and Chrissy D and Lady G the the show. Sure, we do that show there. For Joey Bodafuka. And we had no choice but to be in the same space. We're very intimate. We're driving the same vehicle. We fly them seated together because we check in together. And we reach New York and we're staying in the same hotel. We're there in the lobby together. We're in check in. We're driving the same limo. Go where we are. Go where. Listen to me. G, I mean, I see him space. Now, I've never done anything to Lady G, but that song, what we do, was him that turn. It was kind of like, it was, for me, lyrical. Because I mean, I put no, I mean, I go put personal shit about nobody in her things. So it was lyrical, and it, it, I felt it was in defense. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I pin that Duke and Dame because of that, I drink. I'm actually drinking Duke and Dame whiskey. I'm a pin them. This is not a paid partnership. It's a good whiskey. It's really good. I'm it owned by a black man. So, let me get um, lasagna. Listen, we there the show. Them care we go. Them care we go at 97. We don't go from Bobby Candace and Jabba show. And we were waiting to go on live on the air. And all right, so may I remove you? Because if it bothers you, you shouldn't be here. But them said this too shall pass. Everything shall pass. Everything shall pass, including your presence. Pass and go on. Anybody wanna like it here? Leave here. Yeah. We day not day. We had a station now in our little lobby and we told for them to call we inside of the inside of the studio. And Lady Jia gives you a canting and And then the time I suppress press me suppress the laughter, you know. Me suppress the laughter cause I feel like yo, may I tough up myself and may I be such a fucking idiot. Like me just no want me no want to get into her. And like my mind and my spirit and my aura fear aura attract me and my mind I say but she nice. She seem nice. Why we not like her? Maybe like we scared her. We scared her because she not nice. She seem like she not nice. We don't know nothing about her. You know, Mark you. We don't know nothing about her. And I say, I listen to her talk. And then she said to me, Hey, Tanya. She, she start, she say, Chevelle Franklin. She, something come up about makeup. And she said, Oh, you know who we keep on makeup? Chevelle Franklin. Chevelle Franklin can do makeup bad. And then she turned to me and said, Tanya, when you ready to start your video them, you can save money off her makeup because Chevelle loves the makeup. If you ask her for your makeup, she will do it. She just really loves makeup. And she tell me, we don't know Chevelle that good. We met before. We know each other, but we don't know each other good enough for me to say do my makeup. And she was like, Miss said, we don't know her that good. And she was like, no man, it no matter. She don't have to know her that good man from you. say, come do my makeup, man. She a roll out. That girl there go help. I just can't save because you just come as artist, you know, so you can save money off of makeup and them something there, and you can get a nice look. And I mean, I said, but a bad person would not be trying to help me. A bad person would not be trying to help me. You see, at the end of that a trip, I said to her, I don't know G member, you know. I said, you know, I want to apologize to And she said, for what? I mean, just, me could have laugh because, honestly, we couldn't say nothing else. Like, how would I explain, say, me angry at you and you know, we never know each other. Like, oh, me could have explain at the time when me, when, when me start look at her, off key, like me, I look at her, like maybe she's not a good person. We'd never even met. We never even met. And me, did actually judge her based off of somebody else's words. 
So, what Mega telling her is say, leave Spice alone. Spice no woman no apology, you know. Spice is a reflection. In a that, she definitely reflect me. Because she do something with me already done. Me not in a position for judge that. And me personally know. Me know. Say me. I want good person. Me I want good person. Me not want bad person. Me not do people nothing. Me will defend myself. But me would never do nobody nothing. So if me can look at myself and see. Where. Me understand. How me arrive at when me did arrive at. Me acknowledge that it's something stupid. And me try to correct it. Me, and, and years after me tell G. I know, I know long, long ago me tell G. The spice thing I just what you. I probably 20 years after me tell G. What did I go on? <laughs> yeah. Me, all me says, you know, more your apology do. And she said, for what? I just laugh. Me laugh. Let me tell you something about me. You see, self, you see, introspection. You see, reflection. I might think that there's nothing I've done that I'm afraid to look into. Pull it apart. Deconstruct it, looking at it. Because everything I do, I want to know it. I come from it, I want to know what is it that made me do that thing. If me can't tell off the back when I do it, say this is how I may do it. I go have to look, I have to search. Yeah? And I go find why I do it. And then I fix that. And I can't fix the action, you know, you have to fix the. The, the, the inspiration you have to fix whatever caused it so me, re, me into reverse engineering come on go down to the nitty gritty and see what down there i want me into pulling apart me not have no problem with spice i have no problem with spice at all i don't have a problem with anybody actually but there are people that i don't want to have anything to do with i would prefer not to even breathe the same air as them because energy is real and if your energy is negative i will muse negative is a simplistic way of putting it but really it means that if your intentions are not pure, if you are suffering from low self-esteem or an inferiority complex and it makes you act out and project those feelings onto other people, then I might want to avoid you for a while because I am not prof professionally trained to deal with that. That's above my pay grade. But I have friends who can deal with that. So, Patrice Charles. Good girl, you know? Yeah, man, in a every way. In a every way. Good girl. And when you see people attack, so my time, when you need to stop running, you, I, I mean, if you're fast enough and you want to know what's going on, right, stop and listen. But why you feel like you have to get involved, though? You are looking at some people in a one space, one physical space together, and you don't know none of them, and you feel you, you feel so compelled for running and tell them how they feel in a space where you know they. Remember, we don't know. All right, we don't really know you. You don't really know us. Even if you meet us for five minutes at a show, you don't know us. We smile at the show and take a picture. But do you think we're smiling 24 hours a day? Do you think we are smiling 24 hours a day, 60 minutes per hour? 60 seconds per minute? Do you think we're always smiling? We're not. We, we are not. We're people. We're normal people just like you. And you are a pussy world, so obviously some of we are pussy world too. So you have to stop thinking that because you like somebody, it means that they couldn't be capable of doing something that you're not capable of doing. You are capable of doing something that I would not do. So why you think somebody else where you don't know can't do something where you don't know? Mm? We all do things that other people don't approve of. This is why you don't need to judge less. Judge less. And come out up, yes, yes, it's not in the public eye. The fact that I'm in a public eye, no mean them in them have a public life, you know. You not have no shares in their life. Walk and whistle, brother. Walk and whistle. If you want to watch, me can't tell enough to watch. That's up to you. That depends on your your fear mentality. Are up to you. If you are somebody who like people business, then you'll stop and watch. When me see artists, things that act out in a public eye, me not get involved because me not in their life. Me not know. Me not know them. Me know them music and me love their music, but me not assume for one second that so me know them. Even when we work in the same industry, even though when me see them every day, because me know work, then come. When you go work, your co-worker them know, say, 
you as you miss a sir sir your poor worker them no say underneath your pants you have on one town your poor worker they don't know sir your poor worker they don't say you love you love dress up in your wife clothes and wear heels and look at yourself in the mirror and think how you find your poor worker they don't know sir they don't know your wife close to you and she don't know say you have one next woman so why you think you know an artist them why you think you, you listen to one song you never listen to them personality you listen to a song you married this mother and I know them and you think you listen to one song and no artist? Stop swear for people. Stop fucking swear for people. Stop swear for people. The facts that they can rhyme. And the facts that they can rhyme shouldn't even make inf influence you if you think nothing particular now because I know somehow we don't write to own rhymes. So even the words that come out of your mouth don't reflect. So you have some people I sing about love, love, love every day and I meet them and them are the furthest from loving you could have ever blood clot get. Some of the worst things will happen don't happen from that lady, you know. So go me tell you. <laughs> some of the worst things will happen don't happen from that lady. Happen from man. We we love you now. We all want to love and Ooh, I love you, my brother. I love you, my sister. Yeah. So stop going so. The fact that you don't know no means that nah, mm, you don't know everything. You, you, in fact, when it comes to full life, you don't know nothing. Nothing at all. Nobody mentioned the rest of them coming you know? up. So my rest of them nice. Like Everton Blender nice. Everton Blender nice. In just. In just feel so zen. In feel like my light want incense. And my light want scented candle. And. May I drink some mint lemonade and curl up and have a good book and one nice draw weed. I saw Everton Blender feel when I go near me now. He make me feel relaxed like when I go near me, I want to behave. <laughs> I swear to God, when I go near Everton Blender, I just want to behave myself. I love him. That's why I'm trying to go near him. Come in, I want to behave. <laughs> I'm old nigga, I don't know how long I tell her I'm an old nigga, I don't know how I could know I accept it. These are old nigga. But people don't like accept what they see and what they hear. When we tell them who we be, they don't want to accept it. Hmm? By the way, I tell them again, so I'm pin you can do. Alright. We always say, support black business, support black business. Support small business, support small business. And when every time small business come out, we don't. Now we have Panduk and them for available in Jamaica because we buy whiskey. So I don't really know free whiskey. It's not available here. And that's why Richie D, give me. But I don't want, I don't drink free drinks. I don't like bum rum. I my bad of it. You have one man named Barry or here in dead gone oh Lord God that sound fuck up this sense in dead. It's like me no me no want me no like think about it. But Barry taught me something when I was very young. Remember one time I did up a, a studio up at IRF there was no IRFM, it was just Grove music and there was a studio there. And I was there as a kid, as a teenager, and I wanted to come into music and I was Barry O'Hare's protege. I mean at the studio. Courtney Cole did have Roof International. And Shaggy Wanda and Jigsy King and Tony Curtis and Super Maris and all of them artists used to do down there. And I was a kid in the studio with them. I mean, I ain't no song or not, I ain't nobody. But all of them treat me like equal. All of them. To be honest with you, every single one of them. Tony Curtis, big up your damn self. Jigsy King, big up your fucking self. Um, every one of them. Love us. Oh. Mickey Simpson a day no more neither. Love Mickey Simpson. When me say me in love with Mickey Simpson. Bad blood clot singer. Mikey Spice, big up yourself. Roof International. Courtney Cole came to the studio and he was running his session. And Courtney left to go and buy. Courtney was leaving to buy food. And him asks if anybody wants anything. Right? And we said... We, we told him what we wanted. I wasn't even a part of his session. 
and him buy lunch for me too. Courtney Cole, big up your blood clot self, you know, because I love you, you know, you're a good part of my memories, them, and I have enough good memories. And Courtney Cole was leaving to buy stuff. And him asked what we want. And we tell him, and him, we tell him, and Barry gave him some money and said, buy a pack of cigarettes for me. Buy a pack of cigarettes for me. Look here, man. Don't come in here and call people name. Don't come in here and call people. You think I tell me, Pastor, one of them something like this? This is not one of them Pastor, Pastor, call them, brother. Me I talk my experience. If my experience don't involve the person, they don't call them here. So we call people name in here for? When Barry gave Courtney the money to buy, uh, um, said, I think he was sending somebody. But Barry gave money to buy his pack of cigarettes. And Courtney was like, no, man, you don't have to give me no money, man. And Barry was like, fuck you. Bumba clot, but me not forget no money. Me support my own bad habit, and me afford my own bad habit. Me no want a man buying a blood clot cigarette for me. That stayed with me. I don't take free weed. I don't like free liquor. And I used to smoke cigarettes for a while when I was a kid. When I was like in my teens, I didn't want free cigarettes either. Because Barry was such a strong influence on me. He was like, listen, if you can't afford this habit, don't, don't, don't have it. Afford your own bad habits. Don't, don't, don't be a, a hitchhiker on nobody else's bad habit. I love him, you know? Love him, love him, love him. And so when we start, well, me did already I start smoking cigarette, but me not hide. And then me start, put, me start wearing my cigarette with pride because I'm like, I support my own bad habit. <laughs> So we start wearing it in our pocket, in our shirt pocket. I used to wear a button down shirt and jeans. I was a tomboy. I used to put my cigarette, I used to smoke more menthols. I put it right in my top pocket. So that people could assist me a big blood clot. Oh man, I used to smoke my own a pack of cigarettes. Cigarettes are nasty. I stopped smoking. Sorry, if you smoke cigarettes, it's not a disrespect to you. I stopped smoking. I smoke weed exclusively. Since late teens I think I had a cigarette a year Jesus awful stuff but why would they so we can just big up Barry out here but people enough is stop it we have some bad habit we have some bad habit we don't know nice we don't support fuckery. We don't support. We don't hip. We don't hypocrite because you will say one smuddy do sitting and and, and you just cry it down and then smuddy do it and you excuse it. Can you imagine if smuddy come out and call a bunch of people name? And you say them have the right to say it because they have the right to an opinion. Then call some people name. The people them answer. You say what the fuck you answer for you? You can't judge. Somebody come out in judgment. People when then judge answer, you say, you know I'm not right for judge. He started with judgment. It started, it literally started with fucking judgment. Something wrong with you know. They need for, if Christopher Tufton really wish to fix Jamaica as far as health is concerned, the first thing him for dash out is not vaccine. It's some fucking psychotherapist. Cause y'all's gonna need help. Oh no need help. Anyway, I'm gonna stay on the phone. I'm gonna come off because I'm gonna call Rene. I'm gonna call Rene. Close this show with these streets. You think this is a show? What the fuck? Is that a show? This is me straightening you. You did so you mean I've been talking and you didn't get straightened? I'm gonna waste my time. I'm not gonna live ever again. That's it, my done. Fuck a duck. I'm gonna have no time for waste. You think it's a show? You think this is a fucking show? You know like the reality era. It, it broke you. You no longer have the capacity to tell the difference between real life and it broke you. This end the show. You know, think it's a blood? You pay coming here. You pay coming here. I care what watch and text me tell her come off your live. Who said that? Triple left me girl alone. Triple, oh, you love. Stop trying to do up my girl, you know, because I care, I care, I care, I'm a girl, I'm a boss, I'm a lover, I care, talented, you know. First of all, I can tell you something, 
Shensia can sing your folk. And you know where we get it from? Just watching her sing, I interact with her pick me. That's it. Like, of course, me, me hear her song, them and, and you know, some of all man, right? This is something else we don't need to fix. We don't need to stop things that everybody have to love people product in order to be supportive. Me I want all man, me like Marcia Griffiths and Barry Salmon and Smokey Robinson and Otis Redding. Jackie Wilson. In love with Jackie Wilson. Like if me could have dig up in bones and fuck him, I would. So we don't need to stop. Stop. Feel like you, you are, everybody have to love everybody in order to not be against everybody. So here what happened to me now. Mrs. Cecile share one video with Shensi and her son. This was like maybe a year and a half or two years ago. And our son, first of all, me, me, Shensi have a son there, me I'm biggest fan. Me and that boy, biggest blood clad fan. That little boy there is something else. Where the fuck she get that pitney from? I don't know. But that little pitney there, Jesus Christ. Me just happy so she make money so she can put what he need in her in because the boy they have potential. In case if me they have my picnic with me in a bush and I no potential or me have no opportunity, rather, my picnic that's it. I'm a picnic that never turn out to be what she wants to be. No, remember, you know, to me, success is not that you go out and do something commercial, and no, success is that you become who you are comfortable being, who you truly are. And when me look at her, I pick me and talk to her. First of all, my sister, she a good mother. Because the little boy there, he's healthy, he's comfortable, he's happy, and he's smart. Nothing else you don't need to do as a parent. And then me hear her sing. The fucking girl can sing. I didn't know because the songs that she do don't really showcase that. But she can sing. She can sing your folk. I'm here wait for you the music start show that because this blood clot girl can sing. Yeah. Me just a wait for song what me can actually like. Me sing like, for, first of all, my remix later, you know, because that, but that is not Chensia's song, that's a Tara song. But my remix later, because me smoke weed. Everybody don't know some smoke weed already. Me not, me not see nothing novel in that. But. I take a lighter and you see because they run me out always a thief my blood clot lighter. I have one everywhere is a lighter thief. Lighter thief. I never use my lighter or light cigarette. I hate that. I don't like it. I don't like it one bit. You don't smoke on weed, you smoke cigarette. I'm a remix the gen see and say, What would I do if somebody stole my lighter? I could not light my spliff. How would I get high? high? <laughs> So that's a female way of sing the song, right? That's a way of singing it. Me say all of this for say. Me not happy. Love everybody's song for which them will. Me not must happy be friends with no. Me not want to be friends with no artists. Even the artists them way try to be friends with me. Me kind of shy away because me no, people turn me off at friendship. And socializing. But it doesn't mean that I'm anti anybody. I'm not anti people. I'm anti socializing. I'm not a corner. I'm over here. I can wish for the world from over here because my energy is so fucking strong that I can send you a hug you get it. You don't have to touch you. My energy is strong. I vibrate. I don't know. I don't know. I vibrate. I don't know. I try to do something that's wrong with me because my voice is clear. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Kelly couldn't be one spliff, give me an NT if he could she? Kelly had up on the life, give me back my spliff. <laughs> Ooh, anyway, I'll come off. Because at that time of night now, when I forgot to watch my Hallmark sappy romance movies, I'm an old lady and I like happy endings. <laughs> From massage to movie. Yeah, I'll come off now. Big up on yourself and stop the hypocrite. Stop the hypocrite. Stop the man things from the artist what Uno don't do. Stop the man things from artists who don't even the, the, the man from on a public servants, a politician. On demand more from artists than politicians, you know. You know that? 
Stop it. Stop asking the artists them to become friends and get along. That what, what we get along for? We just need to make music. That's our job title and description. Musician. Not get along.